Everybody. Once again, my name is DJ Stevens, right here from Magar CDK. I'm putting together a series of videos of techniques that you have probably already seen before, but we have modified here at CDK. So it's talking about the traditional way of doing things, and traditional just means that we've been doing it throughout the years. So in this particular case, this would be our traditional defense against somebody that is uh, kind of pushing you, pushing your neck. We call it choke from the rear with a push. So if he's pushing, normally I would step forward. In this case, with my uh, left hand, I would bring my other hand up. As he continues to push, I would drop my hand, you know, to further clear the choke, and then I can throw elbows, strikes, and whatever, okay? That's a good technique. Remember, in Krav Maga, it's all about principle. So anytime we modify a, a technique, we want to stick with their principles. So the first principle is address the immediate danger. So the immediate danger in this case is a push. So I want to address that. I want to try to get my balance as much as possible. Right now, I'm doing it with my left foot. I also want to get the hands off of my neck. I'm going to do that with an explosive turn, all right, so this way. I do that with an explosive turn, so as I turn, you can see he's no longer choking me, okay? But I still need to um, throw a simultaneous or immediate counter strike. So the counter strike that I'm doing, in this case, is gonna be that slashing hammer fist. That slashing hammer fist, okay? So if he's behind me, so as I turn, I can see him. I can see him right through the triangle of my arm. From there, I can come down with either a hammer fist or I can come down with a chop. A hammer fist is when I'm striking with the meaty part of my fist and a chop I'm striking with the same side of my hand but an open hand, depending on what my target is and what my sense of readiness is, okay? So uh, as I turn, notice that I, all, I always check with this hand. I check with this hand because even if my eyes are closed, you can go ahead and push, even if my eyes are closed, which they wouldn't be, but, if, but under stress, instead of being able to just being able to see, I also want to use tactile sensitivity. If I know where his arm is, I know where his shoulder is. Shoulder, ear, head, and I can find him just using the touch of my, body, to touch of my hands to his body. So again, traditionally, I would come up and drop an elbow to my pocket and then throw a counter strike. But the way we've modified it in CDK, as soon as I come up, I go right to my strike, okay? From there, I do whatever I have to do in order to go home safe. Now, this could also be used from the side. So, our traditional side attack is I, I, I pluck and I strike. I pluck and I strike. From there, I'll throw elbows, hammer fists, whatever. But I can also just use the same thing to, to come down from the side. So even if he's kind of pushing, because a lot of times somebody may be deciding, and then they're just standing there, static. They're giving you some type of push. So if he's pushing me, then I'm kind of like off balance anyway. So I kind of use that to, 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 to bring my elbow up, clear the choke, and I still can come down with, with other, other strikes as necessary. That's the way we modify our, um, our choke defenses here at CDK. We still do things the traditional way, but we're always trying to evolve and add new things to our toolbox. I wanted to do an addition to what we just did to show you how that same technique can work off the wall, especially when you're able to stop yourself from going against the wall. So in this case, he's pushing, he could be pushing to a wall, uh, uh, if you're a, a locker or whatever, but some sort of, like a, uh, some sort of um, a, a wall-like object or whatever, if that makes sense. So he's pushing me, and here, ish, 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 ish. So in this case, what's happening is he's pushing me, and so I'm, I'm able to stop myself from going against the wall. Matter of fact, before we even go any further, let me talk about this technique for a second because I see a lot of, lot of um, instructors teaching this technique and it, it, it ends up being kind of a flawed 
uh, uh, way of thinking. And what they do is they teach fall a fall break against the wall. Okay. Now, once they do the fall break against the wall, they have stopped themselves from going against the wall. So instead of doing a defense from here, what they do is they go to the wall, they prevent themselves from going against the wall, and then they put themselves against the wall, okay? So you don't want to put yourself in a position of disadvantage if you don't have to. So in this case, I was able to stop myself from going against the wall. Again, traditionally, I would lift my hand up and drop my elbow to clear the choke. Choke with two hands, please. All right, I would lift my hand up to clear the choke. But I can use the same thing that we did, and I can go here and then come straight down with that hammer fist strike and do whatever I need to do to finish the fight. Now, if I'm against the wall, by the way, there's two things that I can do. First, if, if it's just me and my attacker and there's nobody else in the room, or at least I don't see anybody, and the exit door, of course, is, is not this way, it's that way, and he's pushing me. Now, as the, now what I want to do is change positions. I would much rather him be against the wall than me being against the wall. So if he's already pushing, then I'll let him go in the direction that he's going. If he's bigger and stronger, then what I have to do, don't move, I can move myself around him. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it may be more than one adversary or whatever, so I use the wall as my friend. In other words, no one is behind me if the wall is behind me. So if he's attacking me, and I turn around to defend myself, I might want to stay against the wall, at least I know no one's behind me I can, and I can see everything that's going on, okay? Again, if I'm late, if I'm late and I end up against the wall, the same technique applies. With the, with the hand that comes up, instead of it dropping down to that elbow number seven to clear the choke, it's gonna come down and chop or hammer fist so I can start doing my counters right away. The quicker the, or the sooner I can get to my counters, the, uh, the quicker that I can turn my attacker's offense into defense. I want him to have to defend himself against me. I don't want to have to defend myself against him. Okay? All right, cool. So that's my modified technique against a choke from the rear, whether it's static or whether it's from the side, whether it's from the wall or with a push here at CDK.